Hi, this is Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, Painting with Real Wet Oil Brushes, we will discuss two real wet oil brushes that I made for Painter, the soft round and the hard round. These brushes use a circular dab type and paint quickly and expressively. After demoing the brushes, I will use them to add oily brushwork to a painting. On screen we have my painting, New Zealand East Cape Sunrise. I will use the soft round and hard round to add more paint to the sky and background. As you can see, the Real Wet Oil category is chosen in the brush selector and the hard round variant is chosen. Real Wet Oil can be used on the canvas or on a default layer. The hard round variant paints with a stroke with even thickness. It is a moderately wet Real Wet Oil brush that is sensitive to the flow map that is chosen and right now in the flow map textures the fine dots is chosen and it's very contrasty. If we paint a stroke with the more subtle organic verticals you'll see we'll get a very different effect because this one allows more flow of the oil paint. Notice how the paint pulls along the edges. Now I'm going to choose another color, a bright pink in the color panel and notice how the color blends and pools on the edges right here and right here when I paint a contrasting stroke over. Now I'm going to go back to my blue and now let's choose the soft round from the brush selector right here. And I'm going to paint a stroke. The soft round is a pointed brush that paints thick and thin strokes and the edges are soft. It is also sensitive to the flow map that is chosen and let's choose the more contrasty flow map again. And the effect around the edges is much more subtle because of the softness. The soft round is a wetter brush. Let's choose a pink and I'll paint a stroke and you can see how the color blends along the edges where the strokes overlap. I want to add some crisper lines to the waves right here and I want to use a color that I have in my image. So I'm working on a Mac so I'm going to press the Option key and I'm going to select right here on this brown. On Windows you'd press Alt. Now I'm going to go up to the size slider here and I'm going to size the brush down really small to just a little bit over three pixels. My image is a small size painting so I'm able to use some smaller brushes with this piece. So now I'm going to go right along the edge with my hard round brush to crispen this up and you see the paint diffusing. I'm going to zoom in one field. We have some mist out here so I want to leave it a little bit abstract. This painting has great memories of our visit to New Zealand several years ago. And I'm going to sample some color up here and I'm going to add a little bit crisper stroke along here. The Real Wet Oil is so fun to work with because of its ability to actually flow just like wet oily paint. I'm going to go up to the brush selector and I'm going to choose the soft round and now we're going to work on the clouds and I'm going to sample color from right here and I'm going to this is the side of the cloud that's lit by the sun and I want to make this a little bit broader right here. I'm going to sample some color over here. And add a little bit more, pressing very light on my stylus. I'm going to use another brush that allows us to blend the turp variant so I can 
blow some turpentine into this paint right here. I've zoomed in to show a close-up of a little work with the hard round and how it diffuses. And I'm going to sample some brown. See how it's mixing with my existing paint. And I can continue to finesse the waves and the sky. After more work on the waves, I added a few more details to the clouds with a small, soft, round brush. My painting is a work in progress. The Real Wet Oil offers many creative possibilities. Enjoy painter and happy painting! Thank you.